First up, we have Indiana University, Pennsylvania. 73-60 win against Azusa Pacific. We have head coach Tom McConnell, Brittany Robinson, Carolyn Appleby, and Lexi Griggs. We'll go ahead and get an opening comment from Coach McConnell, and then you can go ahead and uh, start your questioning. Coach? Um, just a great effort, great win by our basketball team today. Just uh, It's uh, so good to be able to stay and play another day. Um, we uh, went against a really, really uh, talented and well-coached team today, and um, just they, they do such a great job in their zone and uh, present so many problems with their length. Um, and I just thought our team hand, handled it beautifully. Um, we tried to get the ball to the middle, and I thought Lexi or whoever was in there made good decisions, knocked down some shots, found the open man. And uh, <clears throat> our team stayed poised uh, started the second half when um, Azusa Pacific made that run and um, and answered. I just saw a look in their eye during the timeout um, and the way they were talking to each other that we were going to be okay, that they were really focused, there was no panic. And, um, boy, they just went out and made some great plays and some really big shots, big shots to uh, – get the lead back into double digits. But for us, it all starts on the defensive end. That's a very high scoring, uh, talented, skilled team we played. And um, I just thought our team did a great job defensively of making things tough for them. They got a couple threes in the first half. Um, I think they had three. And then uh, just one three made three pointer in the second half. We really guarded the line well, I thought, in the second half. But um, just a great job defensively. <clears throat> Mark Burning, Brandon Broadcast, Media. Indiana. Uh, for Carolyn Appleby, if I can. Carolyn, they start out on a 10-point run in the second quarter. You guys have faced adversity uh, before. How much does experience, how much are you able to draw on that once again? Right. Um, just like Coach McConnell just said, we don't let really anything phase us. They did have a good start to that third quarter, but I think that that just makes us work even harder because we know how bad we want it. Um, I think we responded really well after that timeout. We regrouped and uh, we came out strong to end that third quarter and the fourth quarter. Uh, really for anyone, Jordan Gusky, Turner Sports. Uh, I mean, you guys went on an 8-0 run right after they tied it in less than a minute. I guess, why do you think it clicked that quickly right after they tied it? Why right then as opposed to after the first time out when you guys were still up three? Um, I would just say, you know, like uh, my teammate Carolyn said, there's just something about us where we know when we really need to turn it on. And um, thankfully, we're able to do that. And we really believe in one another. So we were able to go on that quick run really fast, under a minute, I think you said, um, just because we were finding the open person. Um, people were knocking down shots. They had shots, sorry. They had confidence, things like that. So I think um, just believing in one another really helps us in um, those tough times when we need to really kick it up a gear. Uh, Tony Kakanya with the Indiana Gazette. Britt, this is for you. Uh, the early defense, especially the shot blocks inside, how did that help set the tone? And you set a record today. How does it feel to set that record? Oh, I did not know that. <laughs> Thank you. Um, coach always tries to emphasize um, being straight up. So we didn't come in thinking we wanted to block them because they're all almost six foot or above. So we knew they would be just as tall. Um, it kind of sort of just happened. I wasn't the only one. I know Lauren had a couple good blocks, Lexi. Everyone was kind of contributing. And um, we just really wanted to focus on not fouling. So it was more of if the block was wide open, then go ahead and try for it. But if it wasn't, then just stay straight up and um, make them shoot something we call a tough two, so shoot over us. So I think that really helped. And then to block it, and then our guards were coming in and getting, I don't know if that's a rebound, what's that called? But they were getting the block pass, and then we were running down the floor in transition. Um, Lexi scored multiple times off that. So I think our defense turns into our offense, which is one of our main um, emphasis. What's the record? I'm sorry, what? I broke it? 
Oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand. <laughs> What's the record she wants to know, Tony? Most career block shots. Oh, that's I know so cool. You <laughs> um, yay, I'm happy. I, <laughs> I don't really know what to say. I mean, thank you to my parents for blessing me with height. <laughs> But I, I, can I comment on that a second? I, I thought, to answer your question, Tony, um, what Brittany did early was huge and really set the tone for us. Uh, each With each drive, she was there to meet him at the rim, and she protected the rim beautifully. She either blocked it or challenged it, and it made it difficult for them to score. And um, that's invaluable. And now the what happens is the perimeter players can get aggressive and they can really guard that line and not be afraid to get beat, knowing that Brittany's back there ready to help protect and clean up. So um, that was no small thing. Yes, Mark Burdick again, Renda Broadcasting. Uh, Lexi, we're not going to let you off the hook like the Atlantic <laughs> Regional. Talk about early in the game, the ball coming into the high post, but I think maybe even the first basket of the game, you spun one way and then did a 180 and left the defender heading on, <laughs> as they say, 670, heading towards Cincinnati. Uh, talk about that move. Um, I was just really trying to attack the hoop and really just try to finish around the like, rim. And the coach was just saying, like, pound the ball inside, like, at the high post and just attack. And um, they were doing a great job finding me. And also, it was just awesome. <laughs> and for coach, bench play again, um, again, much like the championship game, can you uh, talk about what the bench play meant, especially that of Courtney Alexander on both sides of the floor? Yeah, it was, um, it was huge. It was, it was great. Um, one of the keys to the game tonight was going to be um, what kind of plays we were able to make, what kind of decisions we would make in the high post with the basketball. And a lot of that fell on Lexi because she was the one in there. And um, I just thought she was outstanding. She knocked down some shots. She drove it a couple times for baskets. She found the open man. And so that was huge. Um, but what Courtney and Tierra did was a, a big, big plus for us. They continue to work and, and get better. And, you know, I, I know it's March, and, but we keep saying every day we want to get better, we want to keep growing. And I think those two really uh, epitomized that. They just, uh, <laughs> and Cor Courtney's threes were, were big. Uh, just great to see her come in and play with such confidence. She missed her first one. And then she uh, was able to get her next couple. That's really a great quality to have. And it's one of the things that I love about this group. Um, when we came out and we didn't score in the third quarter, some t you might get tight or say, oh, no, I don't want to shoot. I don't want to miss the next one. This group doesn't do that. They, l they have an ability to let it go and move on to the next play and l leave that behind them. And I, I just thought that was a. A, a, a big sequence uh, to go on that 8-0 run after they had tied it. Anything else? Hi. Uh, <laughs> Stephanie Kepich from IUP. Uh, Lexi, Elena is taking over Instagram. Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, <laughs> about your excitement, just about being here. You guys have talked all about living in the moment. Has it been fun to be a part of that with her? Oh, yeah, it really has been. It's just, this is a great group of girls, and I just don't know, like, if I would want to be with another group of girls here at this moment. And it's just so great to just be in the Final Four again, and it's just great. <laughs> another thing, Elena's doing a great job. She is. She great is. Job. She's <laughs> capturing everything. Yeah. She is. We're happy about that. <laughs> she's amazing at that, and she's very talented and, and gifted, so it's great to see her do that. But I, I, I'm going to use that as a story. The reason that she got selected, and young people need to know this, somebody spotted, whether it was her Instagram account, help me out. What, what? It, it was she's a blog. A, blog. Oh, she's a YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. YouTube channel. Blog. Yeah. <laughs> and they were so impressed with what she did that they reached out to her and asked her if she would document the trip to the Elite Eight. Mm -hmm. What a great example for young people um, that what you put out there, people are paying attention and they're noticing. And uh, so I'm really happy for her and I think she really um, 
has a bright future on the court for us, but I really think she has a beyond that a great future in whatever way she chooses to go with with that talent. Mm -hmm. That's true. All right, I think we're good. Coach, ladies, congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. IUP will play the winner of Southwestern Oklahoma and St. Anselm on 6 o'clock on Wednesday. For members of the media, we do have the complete booklets of the statistics back against the on the table where the uh, mirror is.